Good greetings, I'm Rusty Dog, welcome back to Hitman 3. Now this is the Dartmoor mission, uh, which I've already done on the last live stream. But I felt I didn't get the most out of it. Um, and not only that, there was uh, two parts of a token that I was supposed to pick up. And I picked up one part, but I didn't get the other one. So, I kind of want to... Uh, I kind of want to, I kind of want to do that, uh, complete that part. Also, Alexa Carlisle, I, call it, I killed her in a rather uh, not very professional way. She was just in a room and I just shot her there and then and hid in a cupboard. Um, it was a little bit too easy, if I'm honest. Uh, now, as for finding the case file, which is the other objective, of course, because I've already done this mission, I now know where that case file is. I know the combination to the safe. Um, but hey, I want to maybe explore a little more storyline. And what I ideally want to try and do is get myself disguised as the journalist that's going into the grounds as we enter the uh, as we enter the um, the mission. So let's see what I've got available here. You see, this is the silly thing with the game is, if I kill the journalist and his body's discovered and they drag him in a body bag and I go up to that body bag and I disguise myself as the journalist, everyone's fine with believing that I'm the journalist. It's like nobody's been told that he was killed in the front driveway. It's kind of strange like that. Um, so, lockpick. That would sort of be handy. I wonder what I wonder what difference the Mark III is over the Mark II. It just has a, a different look. Okay. Remote EMP charge. Hmm. No, I won't need that here. Remote emetic gas. That's kind of cool um, if you need to get somebody on their own. Uh, that might come in handy, actually. Let's do that. Uh, smuggled item. Do I get anything? I. You see, because I've done the level already, I can... I can do one. SMGs, pistols, no sniper rifles. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, look at this thing. This one can go is better for going through uh like wood and windows and stuff, it'll shoot straight through them. This is the really super quiet one. Let's go with that one. And I'm going to use the Parker today. The Parker coat. All right, so let's have another crack at this uh, and see how many times it takes us to do this. Should be interesting. Right, so I will be on professional difficulty level right in the middle and we'll see what we can do. So let's run it through and see how far we get and also uh, what other nuances there are to this level. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is... Oh, he's a PI. That's right. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So well. Mr. Ray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Right, so I'm going to have to get down there rapido. Oh. 
So there's the journalist guy. I can't do anything about it at the moment, so I'm going to have to see if I can skip. Uh, where is it here? Oh, this is. I know I can get across, but I can't remember where. Yeah, I might need to start this level again. I might need to just use this level as a. Not this level, this attempt to find out where the uh, way through is. Yeah, well, it's here, isn't it? And then it's here. That is Phineas Whitmer. The famous private investigator, hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Please do. If you'd follow me. Sugar. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns... Ah. I see the Yeah, so I'm gonna have to redo this. So I was just looking for an opportunity or a you know, an opportunity to like when do I take the guy down? When do I do it? Oh god. Okay, okay. Um and clearly that wasn't the moment. Because there's no point where he's walking up that path where he's out of sight. Hmm. Okay. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. So we'll see if we can be a little bit more efficient here. This is a private area, sir. But it's Whitmer. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. If I can get ahead of the game. Come on. I think we could do with the paramedics here. I felt one lifeless body. Over. Scared me. Oh my god, what's going on? Are you, are you okay? What was that? Oh my god! Lupe, it's fine. We're still operating. One man down. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Well, that's one way to do it. A famous private investigator, some Right, well, let's see if we can... Uh... <laughs> okay, it wasn't the most efficient way to do it, but it, it certainly works. Right, now I'll go back as the dude. Let's see if they're going to let me in. Ooh, sugar. I hope they're not going to frisk me. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Oh, please do. Yes, please. If you'd follow me. Tea and crumpets? I know I oughtn't say anything, but... 
I'm so relieved. Ordent. Everything is just so strange. Lovely. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary. And, and her I didn't ask for your life story, darling. Guarded like this, and, and, and I dare say I don't like it at all. This is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. What else am I carrying? I'm carrying some really illegal stuff. So I'm going to have to switch to the remote and drop that. Okay. So even though I'm carrying a detonator. Sir, if you want to get through, I'm going to have to pad you down. No problem. I'll climb through a window and pick up my stuff later. I'm going to go straight to meet Alexa Carlisle in the foyer. Green hmm. light. Hmm. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Mr. Thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution. Handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. Oh, Fernsby. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Well, Fernsby, you've got a token that I need. Would you care for some refreshments, or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started, as you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. Yes, I will. And at the earliest opportunity, I'm going to knock you out. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect... That's because she will be. I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However... Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Cheers. I've got to get to the butler as well. I'm not saying he did it. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Do you? Well, there's all sorts of things strewn around here. There's a laptop. Although we can already get killing with the knife. Get armed up. And there is a suicide note. Zachary's suicide note. Also. A sample of handwriting. I am haunted by horrible past choices and, all, and their all-consuming consequences. Alexa was the raft keeping me afloat. Without her, I cannot go on. Goodbye. A sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Really? So I've got to find something else now. Yeah, I reckon it's either... Last night. 
exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. No, we know it's a murder. So we just got to find another piece of paper that has handwriting on it to find out who wrote that note. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Why don't you stop telling me what to do and let me work it out? But okay. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spr the dead body of Zachary Carlyle found in the victim's bed. Marks on his neck suggest he was killed by a rare, short-lived plant poison around 10 p.m. That shows time of death at around 10 o'clock. A camera could tell you that. <clears throat> well, if a camera can tell you that, they I suppose that's why they hired me. I'm, be I'm better than Colombo. Let's have another scout around and see what else we got here. Um, isn't it the case that when you s use the camera on something... Yeah, there we go. Because there was another f photo opportunity thing icon there. The, zeb uh, the zebra. <laughs> the bedroom of Zachary Carlyle. Younger brother, the room is... No, that's not the one. This one. A whiskey glass and bottle found on Zachary Carlyle's bedside table. <clears throat> okay. So it looks like I've discovered everything here. Do I have free run of the house now? A hidden door. Well, the door wasn't. Oh, yeah, the door this was hidden. <gasps> this could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Yes, indeed, it could, my dear. And not only that, actually, there is a corridor, a secret corridor somewhere that requires a tool to open it, and I don't know whether it's on the other side of this one or not. Maybe it is this one. Somebody's looking in here at Zachary's with a one-way mirror. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. Does it show us what it is? No. A floor plan. A floor plan, floor, I knew I'd get that wrong. A floor plan of Thornbridge Manor detailing several hidden rooms and passages, one of which connects Zachary Carlyle's bedroom. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Ah, you see, mysterious switch. And I could never find the item that you put into there. Uh, but now I know that the other entrance is from Zachary's place. Okay, let's go down and see uh, Fernsby. Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Hello, sir. How do I get, how do I, oh, this way. Because I have my monitor uh, set dark, this level is actually, it is rather dark for me. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That's because the butler did it. Madam's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here's the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. See, I didn't do any of this. When you solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Which means I can't do anything 
like, knock him out yet. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? I love it. <laughs> I love how I get the choice. Okay, uh, so Intel... So these, these are the suspects then? Gregory Carlyle, Edward, Rebecca, I recognize her, Emma, Patrick, and Mr. Fernsby questioned. Okay. Well, I can, in, I can investigate the manor, and if I come across any of the other suspects while I'm doing that, See, this is the thing, is, how do I get back? I've come to the end of the suspects. Here we go. Mouse wheel, apparently. So, I can't question him, because uh, he was, his alibi is that he was dead at the time, or dying. Um... Well, some of these people are going to be easier to spot than others. I just wonder whether they're going to be labelled on the map. I don't think so, though, right? So, okay. Well, let's continue... Um, let's continue on this level. Don't think I want to clean the place. Question suspects and search locations of interest. Well, I would imagine that the locations of interest are going to be their individual bedrooms. So we could, we could go with that. Let me have a look down here. I know there's a photo op thing in here. That's just the stuff. Wow, so I've still got, what, five areas of this map that I haven't discovered yet? Just a bit steep, I suppose. I saw her rearranging the photos in the sitting room, hiding Madame in the back, and then moving Montgomery to the front. Is this one of the dudes? One of the family? I think he is. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'll never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the Stag's Head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? I'd need to corroborate that. Edward says he is staying at the local inn and that he and Gregory were having drinks there at the time of Zachary's death. Dun, dun, dun. So Gregory is... Uh, there's Gregory. Handsome chap. So, uh, let's have a look. Let's see what we've got here. Bits of fruit hanging around. A bust thing. My sniper rifle is on the premises as well. I could even poison the guy's drink. By example, rather than by words and meaningless gestures. Like hugs and encouragement. Just a single spontaneous caress, what a difference that would have made. Right. I clearly remember when I was five. 
I climbed a tree and could... What if I did ask again? Tell me about Zachary's behaviour last night. Upset. I didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by Mother's supposed dad. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff are all the company he had. If that's all, I have a speech to write. Hmm. Yes, I'll leave you alone for now, but, uh... I clearly remember when I was five. Don't go anywhere. I climbed a tree and could not make my way down. I was scared and called out the sun. Of all people... Now, uh, Rebecca is in he here, is she? Is it this room? No, I don't think so. I always wonder now whether each mirror here is uh, one of those one-way mirrors, which means there's a secret passage, but clearly there isn't a secret passage here. Ah, Gregory! Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> uh, the, the short of it, uh, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Oh, please. Don't let me uh, waste any of your valuable time. Oh, Carla, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for in that In that cardigan you are. I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? Plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. It looks like I should exhaust the questioning on everybody, and I didn't do it on, say? Tell me about Zachary. Zach. Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger bore. He's better off dead. Is that all? Not very thorough, are you? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Tops. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Now, the guy that I questioned initially... Did I... I know I asked him two questions, but I don't know if I exhausted everything. Let me see if I've got any more questions. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Do you mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have a strong opinion on it afterwards. I can't breathe. Excuse me. All right, that's better. Well, we have... Uh, I think Rebecca and the guy that looks like Elton John. So this guy, Patrick, yeah, Patrick. So we've questioned, so we've got Patrick, and then I think Rebecca, uh, is that it? 
Yeah, Zachary's not. <laughs> hey, Zachary. Uh, Zachary, just a couple of questions, please. Zachary. Zachary. Now, I, I know I have seen Rebecca uh, in a room, and I think it's on the ground floor. I think so. So I'm just going to examine, uh, try and examine everything here. I can't remember which. Patrick tapping the man of Carlisle's door. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why well, I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler? Oh, of course. Well, that's the token. According to the bodyguards, Rebecca Carlyle and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, have each been given a token. This is what I'm after for the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. I, I feel that if I have this or get it, it's going to count in later level. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe if you don't get it, it's, you can still do it anyway. I don't know. When combined, the tokens grant access to a deposit box to whoever holds the set. This deposit box may well contain a copy of the case file on Arthur Edwards. So this is the first time, really, that I've been involved in effectively... Uh, oh, someone just left a gun there. Uh, effectively, I'm um, solving a, a, a mystery here, which is kind of cool. So let me see if I can pick up this hammer. I also wouldn't mind my gun back, and my sniper rifle is right behind that wall. Now then, which would be the front of the building? So we have like a, an SUV there, and a stretch, is that a stretch limo? No, it's a hearse. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to run around here. Is this where I drop my stuff? Yes. Okay, now we're going to run back round and get back in the house the way we came out. And we still need to question Rebecca and Hello there, sir. Helton. So let's see if we can find Rebecca. Ah, the wandering maid. There you go. So she's here. Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived mm. for breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act... So Emma gets the house. You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do. Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is there anything else you want to ask me? No, you keep your keep your blouse tucked in. Right. So this is what we got from her. Now, 
the Emma thing. But we've questioned Emma. So she stands to inherit the house. Is that, is that motive? This is going to be really cool trying to solve this. <laughs> I do like it. So Emma and Gregory's room, Rebecca's room. So Emma and Gregory's room. We should maybe have a look at that. The room is located on the middle floor of the mansion toward the cemetery. Well, I don't even know where the cemetery is, but okay. Oh, and by the way, Where's she, where she gone now? Oh. I'll be back for you, because I want your token. Hey, maid, watch where you're going. So we have to find... Uh, let me see, where is he? Patrick. Um, this guy. He's the only one left. The son of Emma and Gregory. Patrick is a suspect in the murder of Zachary Carlyle. All right, I don't know where this guy is, uh, so I'm just going to have to venture room by room or place by place. Uh, that's where the guards are. Okay, no good there then. Yeah, I know I can knock out what's-her-face here, Rebecca, and everything will be fine. As long as the guard doesn't see me do it, and I can get her a token. But she can't see me do it either, otherwise my disguise will be blown. And that's no good. So let's get all the uh, suspects questioned first. We'll stay on the ground floor until we've exhausted uh, all of that. I think that's more outside. And we have two... Oh no, there he is. Oh, pool table! Right. I'm serious. I have a friend who's booking. She says that's the sweet... Currently busy. Yeah, chatting up the... You should come stay at my place in London. We can have a come over. Give me some tips. I'm quite happy here, thanks. Right, is he still busy? Patrick Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, good ball physics. Shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? He's, just, he's gonna say, yeah, I killed him last night. Okay. She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean... How the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine Red herring, too easy. <laughs> you know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreeding. <laughs> the voice acting's really good. If that's all I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't that's like two pointers in his direction. That's two pointers in Fernsby's direction. I mean, is this really going to be a... The butler did it, mystery. Mr. Fernsby could have done it. And then, who was the other one? Rebecca, was it? Who said... Oops. It was Rebecca who said... Uh, that Fernsby was coming out of the room and startled. Was that her? Or was that this one? I know it was a female that said this.
it's not mentioned. And the butler doesn't, he said he didn't have an alibi. I guess he didn't have to say that. Oh, alibi confirmed. Oh, right. So now it's Rebecca, Emma, Elton John, or Mr. Fernsby. Right, so we if we have Rebecca and Emma for now, I'm going to go to, no, I want to go to the map now. So Rebecca and Emma, so let's get up. We want to go to Emma's room and Rebecca's room. Yeah, I want to investigate those. So let's let's go up and do that. I don't know if the butler sleeps in the mansion or whether he's got his own quarters. Now where am I? So I I need to turn left and it's the it's the last room. Well, it's the second door, second door on the left. I'd much rather hear you, so I think, uh, so I, yeah, what uh, did you say? Yeah, same. Oh, he's, a uh, cops. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. I know. And I'm getting more and more suspicious as time goes on. And it's locked. So let's try and get into it this way. If not, I'll have to pick the lock some at some convenient point. So is this going to... Okay, it doesn't count as trespassing. Okay, good, good, good. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Yes. The greenhouse in which Zachary Carlyle grew... Exactly. The key to the greenhouse to get the plants to kill the guy because he was killed by a poison. And there was a machine in there, wasn't there? On the last mission, there was like a... a, a not a machine, but it's like a... I don't know, it looked like a distillery or something. Yes. Gregory now, but the, here's the thing though, because Gregory, uh, where are we, where are we, where are we, suspects, Gregory's alibi has been confirmed, so that leaves, no, not this one, that leaves Emma. She says she's con she considered Madame Kind of partly responsible for the suicide becomes a recluse. Uh, Zachary appeared depressed. Yes, that's uh, a nice way of saying, or a convenient way of saying, well, it wouldn't be surprising if uh, he committed suicide. A letter from Emma's mother, okay. Now this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. 
She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Oh, so she's she kills Zachary as revenge? Oh, right. A letter from Emma's mother, pounding the bed. So she's the illegitimate one. Emma's late father was the late Montgomery Carlisle, Alexa and Zachary's older brother, and that the two younger siblings murdered him. So Alexa and Zachary murdered him. So Zachary's now dead from a plant. This, yeah, it's Emma. So I, we, we know it's got to be Emma did it. The walking cane. Is this the item that that you th that digs that presses that button in the floor? Hmm. You know, for the secret room. I wonder if it's the walking cane that you have to use. And this is another little opener. So the next uh, port of call would be the greenhouse. Well, well, well. I'm going to go out the door because that way it unlocks it. I don't know if I should have the cane. Now, where is Zach's room? So Zachary's room is across the hall here. So if I just go through and through, that's it. I'm exactly where I want to be. So through. And then through here. I'm just curious whether the cane is what gets used here. There you go. It is. I knew it. <laughs> oh, I love it that that mystery's been solved. That's fantastic. And I might as well use the peephole while I'm here. Because sometimes they count towards achievements and stuff. Realises things don't add up. Inevitably getting her in trouble. I'd rather she knew who she's up against. She's That's Alexa. She's on my left. But I don't want her to get involved prematurely. Hopefully she'll never have to get involved at all. So, I need to solve the murder. I need to take out Rebecca for the half of the token, take out the butler. When I, I just knock him unconscious and then I have to finally kill Alexa. I'm just going to drop this thing right here. The cane, I, I don't, it doesn't need to be anywhere except there, really. Oh, okay. I wanted to get him out while he was take I wanted to take that guy out while he was standing behind the door. Looks like we can't. 
All the transfers of funds and privileges I've been through have been bulletproof. He intercepted the arrangements our office worked years to put in place. That's why Donny Yates should be here. He made the arrangements. He should bloody well be the one to clean up this whole mess. I, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Don't kill the messenger, Alexa. Please, continue your efforts, Mr. Ford. guy I need is this one because if he's not following her around I can take her out but as we know it is not time to do that yet so I need to get down to the ground floor I'm just gonna drop this cane I think the, the best place is exactly where I was inside that room inside the secret room and then while she's sitting there having a chat with her dead husband, I can take out the guard and then kill her in that room because she's going to go back in there for sure. I just don't know when. It's going to be a big cycle of animations and stuff. Sorry to break the immersion. Uh, before she gets back around there again. So let's use that time to get ourselves to the green house. See if we can unearth anything in there. I hope I am going to be sort of allowed in there. Right, so the greenhouse is here. And I need to turn to my right and then go th uh, through the library. Turn, turn to your right, go through the library. This way and then my sniper rifle is in here but I can't exactly be carrying that around what's the point of soap non oh, okay it's just a non-lethal thing see my my suitcase is there with the sniper rifle in it uh, Which is... Okay. I, I really am lost now. Garden. Greenhouse. 180 degree turn. And it's up here. It's going to be a little bit of a trot to get there. Looks like I've got free run of the grounds and whatnot so far, so... That makes life a little bit easier. I suspect that the greenhouse. We don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looks everywhere. You've got to be kidding. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madame Carlyle will be furious. So, Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. Oh, I'm going to sabotage it, am I? And then, uh... She expects the family photo to be done any moment now. I need this Disguise yourself as a photographer. I, I will, but I'm not quite done yet. It feels like I can't breathe in there. Now, I don't know if I'm allowed in here. It needs to look good for the family portrait. Greetings, sir. Greetings. I'm Rusty Dog and welcome to this live stream. Oh, I thought I brought a lockpick. I don't believe for a second. Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. Yes, sure. 
Wasn't there a crowbar nearby? I'm sure there was. First chance she's got. There we go. And now we'll never know. Oh my. You're taking this hard, aren't you? Yes, I could knock him out, but I'm not going to do that. I've got some good progress here. Oh, I have got some good progress. I'm not. I want to save where I am. Do it in there. There you go. That's just in case I mess up. This isn't good. That's a good thing I saved, eh? What a great moment for me to have saved. I thought the guy had his back to me when I was... Um, when I was doing that. Yeah, those idiots can see over the uh, thing. I don't know. Now Zachary won't get to see the road again to the It was him that saw me, wasn't it? Well, we'll see. Oh, uh, it's I'm not trespassing. There's a boat key. That's a way to escape. So there is something here. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. The greenhouse in which Zachary Carlisle grew exotic plants, the greenhouse is located in the rear end of the garden behind the mansion. Well, obviously, it does. Yeah, I'm already here, so. OK. Lab equipment found in the greenhouse residue suggests it was used to brew a lethal poison. Oh, yeah. Repair the distillation kit. Oh, okay, so I guess that what that does is I'll be able to make my own poison and poison other people with it. I need a wrench for that, though. And there's some poisonous flowers. That's just a metic, though, which causes... Uh, throwy uppy right I don't know if there is a wrench nearby I'm going to open these doors I can't bear to think what will happen to all these rare plants now what is this driftwood okay <laughs> not really any use is it Need a wrench somehow. I'm not sure I'm going to find one. Sir. In the name of love. I could have brought a wrench with me, I suppose. What's here? Ooh, she is. Well, 
sheer luck I came across that. And there's something over here. No. Nope. I don't know where the missing fuse might be. That's. I want to have. A oh, there's the wrench. Right, back to the old uh, glassery. Produce poison. And there it is. A glass of poison magically appears. Let's do another one. Oh, did that use the two plants I made up? Okay, so the the dodgy plants were made into a lethal version. Oh, I can make another one. I'll just go and poison everybody in the mansion. Right, now, next step. Uh... I don't know about the photographer thing. I don't know whether to do it or not because I'm kind of want to roll here. And how do I, if I know it's Emma, you see, the photographer's only for Alexa. So, This is the one I want to be on. Question the suspects and search locations of interest. Okay. Does it tell me in the intel the locations of interest? I guess these, right? Just the ones that are listed. So Emma and Gregory's room I've searched. I don't know whether this is telling me that I found everything I mean the magnifying glass is still there ah you see there's a tick so there's something else three or four clues found there's something else in that room that we need to find interesting it is actually I'm, I'm quite intrigued with all this Just looking for a way into the house now where I don't get searched. I knew that was poison. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking A part. safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Yes, I've got to get the case file. That's something else I need to do. Do I still have the crowbar? Yeah. Okay, cool. So back upstairs then to Emma's room. Anything cool in the cupboard? Screwdriver, always handy. Oh, look at that, the fuse. And we know what that means. Photographer. Do, 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 do. It honestly feels like I'm inside a, an old fashioned Columbo episode or something. Right, so where am I in relation to Emma and Zachary's? Oh, there's a photo up there as well, I missed that. So if I turn to my right, it's into the corridor, then it's left and right. How are you today, sir? Mind your own business. So this way, and this way, and because I've been in here and unlocked the door, so the photo up, so let me get the camera. 
my camera. Rah. There we go. And uh, what was it? I had to scan here as well. There was. I've actually forgotten what it was. Um, there we go. Shoes. The shoes. Oh yeah, with the mud on, right? Shoes and footprints found in Emma and Gregory's room. All oh, right. Okay. Now is. Oh, house cleaning. Right. So that must mean that this one is done. Yes. Four clues found. So now I need to go to... No, Zachary's room I've done. Everything in there's done. So Rebecca's room and Mr. Fernsby's office. So Rebecca's room. Uh, the room located on the middle floor of the mansion toward the parking area. Well, I've got my map. It's in the opposite corner. So uh, I can come out the room go right down into the second whatever that is foyer thing whatever oh yes it's all gonna get taken care of that creepy guard there Ooh, and across the hallway is that Fernsby the butler I don't know maybe 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 no, it's not. Right, where am I? I am outside of Rebecca's room. That is the door to Rebecca's room. <sighs> yeah, I, I could... I could, um... crack it open with a crowbar. But what if he hears it? So, guess what? Out the window we go. And some lovely shadowing there as we break into the room. Right, let's start looking for clues. Number one, obviously, laptop. Let's have a look at that. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. That counts her out. So, will that now show on the suspects? Yes, she's out. Alibi is now confirmed. Now, this Elton John guy said he was with a staff member called Rosie. Oof. Now, which one's she going to be? Which one is Rosie? I've got to find Rosie then, question her to back up his alibi. But then, she might be lying as well. Okay. So we are now in Rebecca's room, and we found one out of two clues. Okay, I, yeah, I'm guessing the picture is the other one. Oh, hello. And this provides a PP to over there for some reason. But if I press this, I'm going to come out in there. I don't know, where is this? Into a small office. Okay. Couldn't figure out where the switch was. Is that the... Uh, no, that wasn't the clue.
Or maybe it was and I didn't search it thoroughly. I don't really see too much of anything else. Unless there is a camera thing to do. So we'll do that. Handwriting match? I don't know. So we did the laptop, which confirmed her alibi. Uh, the notes concern uh, the handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note. S what else matches it? Because we know, I think, we know Emma did it, right? Unless there's a twist on this. So, I don't think we found anything in Emma's room with any handwriting. The key itself has been removed. So Emma could have the key on her. Well, I need to knock her out to find out. Okay, oh, I've also forgot. I need to now go to Mr. Fernsby's office. The room is accessible through the storage room in the staff quarters on the ground floor of the mansion. Okay, let me get out of here. House cleaning, three of five. But if I do Mr. Fernsby's, that's only going to be four of five, isn't it? Unless either there's another location or, or, or the fact of finding the four gives me the fifth one. Does that make sense? There's Fernsby. Okay. So we'll go downstairs. All right, I'm not doing too bad, how's you? So I'm going to go down and have a look in Mr. Fernsby's room. And that is... See, there's some more picture opportunities there, which I already have previously done. Now, there are some undiscovered rooms here, so I'm going to have a look at those stuff. How about the door to Mr. Fernsby's office? And guess what goes in here? Oh. I wonder if turning that off will bring Mr. Fernsby down. I don't think so. Right, let's go in then. Ah, what do we have here? What if it was... There's a list here that tends to be handwritten. What if it was Emma and Fernsby together? The handwriting does not match. Oh, I need something written that's written by Emma. Or maybe even Gregory. Maybe he did something. That's getting to me. I want to find out the thing with the handwriting. And I just have this horrible feeling I'm not going to find that bit out. <laughs> The mansion master key. Let's get that. So that will unlock every single door. 
Zachary's half-burnt diary. What is that doing here? Zachary's diary. This is big. Yeah. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Does it prove that? Yeah, it does. Um, what if they made... It was, it was Emma and the butler, wasn't it? What if they made... Lethal, if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. No, I've already got that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder. Clearly? I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carla he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47. Well, why? I think it was Emma. Why would I, why would I want to convince Madame Carla that it was the butler? Is that maybe so that he will... Hmm... Maybe so that he'll... You need to forget about Rosie. No Rosie. Gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. <sighs> you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. Hello there. Hi. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I... I spent the evening with Patrick. I knew it. We met after dinner. I knew that would confirm his alibi. He said he needed someone real to talk to. Emma committed the murder. But I wonder if the butler covered it up again. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. Except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? If she didn't Emma. Fire me, I'm sure of it. Do right, she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Well, that's it. Attend the tomorrow. That's exhausted, that line of questioning. It was Emma. But I knew that a while ago. I just needed it confirming. So on the suspects, look at that. What's this? A viable suspect. Butler at Thornbridge Manor is suspected that Mr. Fernsby clarified up front that he was working in his office last night and does not have an alibi. Viable suspect. He's involved. Whether he covered it up to make it look like a suicide. So, how about this? Emma kills the guy with the poison and Ferns... No, that doesn't make sense. It would make sense if the butler killed Zachary and then Emma made it look like an accident by writing the suicide note because nothing of Fernsby, what he wrote down, has matched the suicide note. But I've not found anything in Emma's room either that matches the handwriting. So... Do I want to do any more investigating, or...? Oh, brother. I know I need to go up to Madame What's-Her-Face's room and get the case file. Where else is something written down, then? Oh, bro, this is, this is something else. Let me just pop back into the intel again. So, Fernsby's office, we found everything. Handwriting doesn't match. 
Rebecca's room. We found all the clues in there apparently, but nothing to do with the handwriting. Maybe we need to find Emma. Maybe we need to find her again, because maybe the room she's in might have something where it written down or I don't know <laughs> it's fun trying to find out though there she is so she's in this big room with, oh with Gregory now okay is there anything of handwriting here cigar box. Don't need that. There she is. Emma. I know what you did. I just need to prove it. Hello, sir. That's just a, t yeah, I can poison that as well. That's Rebecca? Yeah, that's Rebecca. I even know the family now. I wonder if Yes, remember the footprints here? Wherever they are. Which matched the shoes, was it? Oh, I know. Shoes and footprints found in Emma and Gregory's room, matching the prints on the terrace outside the sitting room. Oh yes, I know. Oh, where's the handwriting match thing though? Emma? There's nothing in this room because it would highlight. Was it? I, I did highlight all of this already. Oh, it was this dude. And that is Montgomery. That's the guy that was killed by these two. No, by Alexa and Zachary, sorry. By Alexa and Zachary. They killed him. Well, look who's here. Emma, Rebecca and Gregory. Right, in the tr let's go to the trophy room then. Get everything scanned while we can. Oh, hello. Kabumo. Uh, it doesn't mention it. Documents gathered by Rebecca on recent movements of assets belonging to the media branch of the Carlisle Holdings. They show a number of unauthorised movements of funds and privileges. Yes, but what they don't show is matches of handwritings, which is what I want. Anything else? Camera opportunity near the greenhouse. Oh, how did I miss that? The, that must be where the writing is, because that's where they were. 
Okay. I'm coming past you, like it or not. Maybe it's not in the greenhouse. If you've done this level and you know, then you, <laughs> you're either going to find this very frustrating, or if I'm if I'm on the right path, then you'll be going, yeah, now you've got it, Rusty. Hmm. Talking about a safe in Madame Carlyle's room. Go this way, go this way. There's a photo thing here, but is it paper? This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is yes. quite the detective for I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Yes, I do. I, I, the handwriting squiddly thing, diddly thing. Yes, definitely. And also, uh, I have to go and get the case file, so I'm going to go and nab that, which is right up there. Yes. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. So that's my next thing, is to report to Mr. Fernsby. Mr. Fernsby! <laughs> Do you think, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this family. And I've got to knock her out as well, haven't I? I want the tokens. I don't want to I'd let this mission go by without, without that. Um, would you like to tickle me with your duster? I'm starting to feel a little uncomfortable now. Could you please go away? Okay. Hello, sir. All right. You want to tickle me with your duster? Oh, too far. Not yet. Not yet, Fernsby. I still haven't got around to... I just, you know, I've got a... I still have to kill my uh, target yet. But I am quite enjoying the murder mystery here. This area has been declared a restricted area, but you just saved yourself a lot of trouble. Um, I was able to get in here before, wasn't I? Okay. See if I can find another way up. Yeah, hey, bro. No? The only way is up. Baby. I wonder if there's a, a like a, a drain pipe nearby that goes up. Let's have a let's have a go through here. I am the PI after all. Oh that's is that gonna get me anywhere? Maybe. Yeah, this is where I need to be, I think. Yeah. What's up here? Oh, okay, I know where that is.
This is the bit where I have to be careful. But just in case I'm not, So Rebecca Carlisle's office is just there. There she is. Not Rebecca, Alexa Carlisle. And she's wandering around here because I haven't killed her yet. The combination to the safe is 1975, by the way. So what do we have here? We've got... I, I'm not ready to kill her yet because she needs to be told who murdered her husband and then I'll kill her. I just hope these guys are not going to be here for the duration because I need to get the case files. And there's, there's two guards there. Are they staying here? Because if they are, I'm going to have to kill them. At least I have a place to put them. Alexa Carlisle is not on this floor. Oh, I'm going to have to get good here. Please tell me it's just those two. Oh, she's here. Sorry. Where is he? So she wasn't coming in. Why is nothing happening? Yes, I know, that's the safe, but how do you open it? Shuckers. Find the case file. Yeah, it's right there. This, again, this is something I've already done.
Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edward secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Well, sort of, but not quite. You see, I want to go back to the butler now. Now, the butler is a bad guy, but I don't know whether I want to kill him. Oh, am I trespassing here? Right, let's go and see the bottle. Mr. Bottle himself. Now we know who did the murder. <laughs> it doesn't sound right, does it? Who did the murder? Yes, who committed the murder? Emma, 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 Emma. So we will report now to the butler man. And see what happens. I'm just going to save at this point. Just a gut thing. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Oh, I'll follow you, and then I'm going to knock you out at some point. He doesn't seem rattled at all, does he? Very well, sir. Let's hope he doesn't try anything silly. So he's taking me now to wherever she is right now. Which is kind of clever, some clever AI there. I'm allowed up now, am I? If I'm accompanied by... Mr. Fernsby. Yeah, see, I'm not allowed up here normally. Whew. I was hoping they weren't going to frisk me. I might get some good scores on this one. Please step inside. I think I got 14,000 on this one last time. What? Oh, the other side. The butler wasn't clear. Or maybe he was. have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. Oh, mission story complete. That side mission. Here we go. A lot of guards here. Please, go ahead. Ac now then. Accuse Zachary's out. I can accuse the butler or I can accuse Emma. I like this. See, and I saved it so I could choose a different route when I load in. If I load the game in again, I could choose a different conclusion. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. 
And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory. Get revenge and secure the Carlisle Empire for her blood. There's an open safe behind her there. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. I've just realised what happened here. Got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor, gained access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than <laughs> I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Well, I can't ask for the case file because I have it, so... I'll send you an invoice. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. I trust you'll see yourself out. I will. I now, so what's happened here is as soon as I got to the butler and said I want to present my conclusions, um, it instantly placed her and, her and the guards in this office. Because there, right there is the safe where I nicked the case file from, and she doesn't seem too concerned about that. Yeah, you know it. Where is she, the old bat? Oh, she's gone in. I was wondering if I could see her from here, you know, when she was leaning up on the balcony and just pop. I guess she's gone. Ah. Right, so as I am now done in that respect, it's time to get the tokens. And then we will take out. Madam Carlyle. As long as she's not on this floor. Oh, actually, didn't they say I have access? Because I've, I've done the, the, the case, that I've got access to the mansion now. So I should be allowed back up on this floor again. Yes. I can be on this floor now. Awesome. There is a lot of guards around. How's Gregory handling the situation? Causing trouble or too lazy to give a damn? No, ma'am. Do you think she's going to take care of Emma? Is she going to kill Emma? He may be lazy, but not I think that's the plan, right? So now I need Fernsby. He's going to be a bit trickier to get hold of. The the first one, uh, Rebecca. She's the first one with the um, with the token. I've got a sniper rifle there, so if I can use the sniper from afar, in case. What's, uh, in case Alexa Carlisle ever pokes her head outside the house. All right, I think I need to be in the sitting room, right? Yes. Yes? No? No. Hey, Emma. She knows. She knows you know. And you've had it. Where was the room that Rebecca was in? 
It's got the maid outside wandering up and down. Try and find Hello, the. Alright, try and... there's Fernsby. I'm trying to find the corridor with the maid. funeral and then show up like nothing's the least bit strange. Well, don't get your knickers all twisted. I'm telling you, she's not fit to be in charge anymore. Gotcha. There's the maid. Now, the first time I did this, I did it without any issues. Now, the way I did it was she's she stands by the fireplace. I think she takes a phone call, and then as the guard moves over to that corner of the room, that's when I uh, knock her out. Now. Token for a vault in the Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. You need a pair, and you gain access no questions asked. I bet that's where Madame Carlyle keeps a copy of the Edwards file. I think solicitors are mother's favorite kind of people. Can't remember ever having a family of it. They found the body. Damn it. But nobody saw me do it. Right, Fernsby is, Fernsby is next on my list. There he is. Pool ball, that's going to hurt. So yeah, there'll be a few guards having a little bit of a search. Oh, is he going to go underneath the chandelier? On top of things, Elaine? Sure am, Mr. Fernsby. Coming along just fine. I trust Mr. Patrick is not interfering with your work. We need everything... If he ever stands underneath the chandelier... I can work while we talk. Just leave it. I don't want to kill him. Mr. Patrick is not acquainted with how things are done here. I'm fine. Thanks for checking in. And I also need to take him out without getting into trouble because I still need to kill Alexa. Can I do anything for you? Uh, yes, actually. Could you speed up time so I don't die from boredom? I fear I may not survive an entire weekend in this shit hole. Perhaps a brisk walk in the garden would do you good. I said speed up time, not my party. I'll just go away with you. Of course, sir. I'll come back later. How very kind of you, dear Mr. Fernsby. I hope to see you soon. What a little... What a an arrogant twenty years. You like um breathing? I need an opportunity. Maybe this is it. Right now. Middle of the stairs. Yes, that wasn't the time. I can't see the guards because my screen's too dark. I know. I know, but that's the way it is. Well, this disguise is blown. No, 
Mary is so upset that she's never seen a dead body before. Life can be tough sometimes. And that detective asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else asked So I'm going to need... Who's this guy? Security, maybe? I'm going to need a bodyguard's disguise. I might be able to snipe Alexa Carlisle when she's on her balcony. I don't know. See, these are just, these guys are just security. They're not good. They're not allowed very much in the house. <laughs> oh, I need to be a god. Well, whatever happens, there's another fuse, look. Whatever happens, I can't get seen. I don't have any non-lethal weapons that are... that I have more than one of. You know, so I could shoot two in a row. Um. It's going to be him, isn't it? Of course, the maid. The maid noticed it. I'll load in my save if I have to. And I knocked him out. I didn't. I didn't kill him. So that means they'll know that I'm dressed in that guy's disguise. I'm going to have to be quite careful here. How can you be so relaxed? I wish you'd take things more seriously. What are you going on? Oh, so you have a way with words, Stan. I've got to find Fernsby again. I don't think I'll do a new save because if I have to, I'll just reload. My last. I'll re uh, yeah, I'll reload the last one. If it goes any wrong, any further wrong, I'll just reload the last save I had and take it from there, which I think was just talking to Alexa Carlisle and saying, you know, Emma did it. So it was from that point. So it doesn't say compromised. Is is he the butler? Yes, he is. And he doesn't... He oh, Getting close to him now is going to be a nightmare. Wait here. You hear guns just run like crazy. He can't... I can't let him see me now.
I'm convinced that he is a good place. Uh oh. Game's frozen. Okay, it's back again. Where does he go? Does he ever spend time in a private room? Any updates, Bernsey? Nothing new, ma'am. Good job, 47. You now have both tokens needed for us to get the file on Arthur Edwards from the London... I didn't want to kill the butler, but there you go. <laughs> yes, it is. So I need to now turn... Uh, yeah, let's go this way. I... I am security, so I should be able to, well, I was going to say I should be able to pick up the sniper rifle, but it is in a suitcase. Ah, that's going to be a problem. Didn't really want to kill the the butler at all, but, but I got a bit frustrated messing about with it all. Right, so Alexa Carlyle's bedroom is there, but she peered out over the office, which is on the other side. And that's not where she is now. She's on our floor. Does she go up to this again, though? Does she ever go up to her office again and look out the window? I think she does. And then I'll just snipe her from a long, long way. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening, if I ever saw one. Oh, the greenhouse. It's that way. It's the greenhouse way. Now, what about this photographer thing? She might be on her way up there. I need a place where I'm sort of private. Oh God, guards and everything. So many guards. And there's the, there's the getaway boat. The question is, does she go to the office and can I take her out from here? Well. Holy crap, that was close. I 
don't need these two guys around. Is it her bedroom that she inhabits? Because currently she's, yeah, she's in the bedroom. Oh God. What if it's the bedroom side I need to be on? She's sitting down. I might be able to get her from a window, I don't know. Right, she's on the move. See if I can get back to her bedroom. Ah, oh. then she'll come round to the office. You watch. Now she's going downstairs. This might take a while, but an assassin will wait for his kills. Mm. Hotel booked. Our backs all ready to go when I got the call. Are you guys planning to give the whole grounds an overhaul? I think so. A funeral is a big event. A lot of important people will be here. And the woman isn't even dead. It's too bad we're not allowed to tell. That would make a great story at the pub tonight. All right, so I should be directly opposing the office or the bedroom. I am indeed. But Alexa's moved around, but she'll she'll get back. I just need to conceal myself. I don't know if she ever does go on the balcony of anywhere. I'm just going to test something. Aim the gun from inside here. Make sure I'm not going to get spotted. Yeah, she's going to be tough to spot. Just look at, oh, you can't, there she is. Come on, give me a window. But she's on the other side now, I'll bet. I know she went out to that balcony before and I actually don't know whether she, whether she does go to a balcony or not. Doesn't matter what floor it's on. But if she makes her way to any window or anything like that, we know she goes to her office, right? Because she was in there. She was in her office that time when I was trying to get to the safe. Oh, hello. Oh, well, she's on the stairway. I wonder if there's a window there. Now this gray, this is the building, isn't it? This is the actual building. 
Let's have a look. Yeah, she's. T yeah, that's it. Or is it? Is there a window here? By the stairway? Ah. <sighs> Just gotta wait. Nothing you can do except wait. I find if she goes near it's a pity that the map didn't update in real time, but it doesn't. Oh, didn't want to do that. Now is she going upstairs again? I can climb up to her bedroom, to the balcony, and take her out as she goes in the door before the guard gets in. Where is she? Sitting room. She's in her office, okay, which is where I was initially, but I can't get her from there. So, after the conversation that she has, does she walk? to the balcony and if she does then I need to go all the way back round again now where is she going private room is she going in there oh that's that room with the chair She's in the private room. But I, I don't think I can hide in there. Yeah, 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 what does she do now? <laughs> the private room may be the only place. She's just sitting, sitting in there. And I have a feeling that she's in there all on her own. We've got to get back to the office then. The question is, how the hell do I get up there with this case? I probably don't. So the sniper rifle is probably going to be out as an option. She's coming out. Now where does she go? You never even talk about it after it. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. And that's tough for me. Not the balcony. No. Okay, she's not at the balcony. I need her to be here. No, it looks like she's going down the stairs. Is she? Pick the damn suitcase up. The secret passage. I said earlier how I was going to take her out, didn't I? Let's go. We have to get to the secret passage of... 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 Alexa's bedroom. Um... No. Was... Oh, sugar. Was it Alexa's bedroom that she went in? It has to be. I thought she was in Zachary's bedroom when she was... when she was talking away to him. Remember that? Yeah, in the secret room. She goes in and talks 
The guard was behind the door. I take the guard out. I take her out. Good night. That's it. Let's do that. So, we need to go to the next floor up. Yes. And hope that nobody has any problem with me. Hmm. I thought the stairs were there, but they're not. No, oh, it's back this way. And hope I have no issues with guards here. Yes, there is one, but we'll fix that. So I have to turn right and carry on. I know where I am now. Wilkinson accused of sordid affair with personal assistance. For centuries, the Carlyles have fought to prosper all of us. I had acted on my own. Mission complete. Well done, 47. The hell was that? Put the gun away. Drain pipes going down. I want to go that exit. I think I think that's where the boat is. So I think I want to do that one. Well, that was a good couple of hours. Oh no, I'm stuck there. about it. Yeah, because last time I went out on my own motorbike, the one I came in with. So there's the bridge there, which is an escape, but i really like to do the boat. For no particular reason other than to do it. And I could have thrown the photographer his fuse. <laughs> See that, I could do this mission again and follow the photographer story the next time. There's always different options, I suppose. And because we picked up the boat key earlier... Boom, boom, boom. That was good. Let's see if I beat 14,000. I, I think I should. Oh, 
Okay, 17. I thought it might be a little bit better. Mission rating 1. Yeah, because I probably had to tuck out the butler. I didn't need to do that. I did solve the crime, though. I did solve the crime and all that stuff. A short baller. Short suppressor. Low rate of fire with high damage. So reduced range, but more damage. Okay. Hidden stash in the greenhouse now. Awesome. Starting location. I can now start this mission as a gardener. And I can... Yeah, I can start the mission uh, as a mansion guard straight away. Brilliant. Now, uh, we, we've seen this already, but... We'll play it through again. Take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. Well, there you go. Now Diana Burnwood knows that Agent 47 killed her parents. Oh dear. Right, so the next level is Apex Predator. I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Bye for now.